Good morning, everybody. The last video I made, I did an overview of the drop gears and the drop gears and the transaxle down at the transmission shop uh, get in, getting taken care of. Uh, this is a discussion around the pilot bearing and the flywheel. So here is the custom flywheel that mates to the LT4 that'll mate to an Audi clutch and, and connect the whole, the whole transaxle and the engine together. Uh, basically, in this area here, uh, you insert a pilot bearing, and the pilot bearing, I'm going to put it in here now, uh, holds up the transmission shaft. And the issue I'm dealing with is this pilot bearing is just a tad loose. I mean, it really should be a press fit, and this is called a loose or, or a slip fit. And there's a, a number of ways to deal with this issue. Uh, some people recommend using Loctite. There's a special bearing Loctite that you put uh, around the, the edge of the bearing and then insert it. And then other people use a center punch uh, and create dimples around the edge here. And the raised dimples will grab onto the bearing and they use a combination of both, the raised dimples and the Loctite. You know, uh, to me, that's really not an ideal solution. It may work, you know, I'm not an expert in this area, but I did speak to the transmission shop and I've spoken to a fellow builder who are adamant that's not the best approach. So I'm sending my flywheel down to the transmission shop. They're going to bore out that hole and create a small shim band. It's probably like five one hundredths of an inch and that will uh, basically enable this bearing to press and be held very securely into the flywheel. Okay, so when it comes back from the shop, I'll do a follow-on video for it. Uh, just going step by step, you know, this is the process of building a kit car. And, you know, we're dealing with a number of issues that crop up and, you know, you tackle them one at a time. You know, you go on the forum, you post, you know, an, an issue you're having, you, you call a couple of the forum members that you become friendly with, you speak to an expert at a transmission shop, and then you make a decision how you want to handle it. So, so this is the way I'll handle it, and then I'll, I'll show you a picture of it once it's uh, all assembled with the, you know, with the uh, shim around the bearing. Okay, thanks for watching. Take care. Bye.